let's go ahead guys check out the new barbarian after the nerfs is the whirlwind barb nerf to the point where it's not playable what are the nerfs well they did a couple things uh, i'm going to start off the video by mentioning what the nerf is we now have a cap on hemorrhage but like it doesn't really matter no because gushing wounds is still super op let's hop into a uh, pit 100 we'll talk about the newer changes what is actually changing with the uh, whirlwind barb going into season five so i always like to start off with gameplay and then we'll talk a little about it and the other options and other things with the barbarian as um you know originally looking at like bash a lot of people was like okay bash is gone right surprisingly it's really not that bad at all uh in terms of its nerf but i still think that this build it just plays so much smoother than anything in the g entire game the crown of lucian is just crazy but there is one thing to mention when you use the crown of lucian uh, it tends to take a long time for the uh, first charge to kind of build up with your whirlwind but you usually want to be spamming whirlwind anyways like this on your controller or if you're playing on mouse and keyboard obviously spamming it is key and the reason why you want to do that is because you're gonna get more of the Tyrael's uh, little explosions to shoot out so the uh, the build is still like absolutely god tier and it's it plays way smoother than any build you still have iron skin which actually has like a ridiculous cooldown because you can just use your shouts and uh, with marshall on the paragon board you can keep it up if you happen to run like rage of hardroth you can also pretty much keep it up 100 percent of the time and poor sorceress uh they took some massive nerfs and it's crazy that barb is still like king in season five I think that out of all the builds, with the exception of like the Chain Lightning with the uh, Crown of Lucian, uh, it, there's not really a build that I feel like is on like really the same level of this level. Uh, it's just so incredibly good. It's so smooth, super beginner friendly to play. And in terms of like requiring like uh, Uber Uniques, well, you don't really need the Harlequin anymore. You just need to get, of course, the Star of the Skies because otherwise your resources will be very lackluster. Let's go ahead and go to the next floor over here. I'll do a full run here just so you guys can see everything on just 100. And keep in mind, the uh, pit 100 here is much more difficult than a pit 100 on the live servers. The bosses are still bugged. They tweeted that out. And uh, hopefully we'll get those things fixed, but PTR is about to end anyways. But if you're wondering if Whirlwind is nerfed at all, no, dude. This thing is just is crazy. It's Barbarian. Barbarian is the best class in Diablo. It's their favorite class. And so uh, it's just still going to be on top. And I'm not really asking for like nerfs on the Barbarian. I just really want some buffs for the Sorceress. Because uh, I was trying to play Arc Lash, Vox Omnium, trying out all the new stuff. Now, as far as Barbarian goes, we do have another newer sword, which I'll show you guys. This is supposed to be for like Death, Death Blow and uh, Rupture, uh, which you can run like Wine Tan because they also buff that. Uh, unfortunately, I would say they fell kind of short. But there's another really nice buff where you can have your Berserking up 100% of the time which is something that I really, really, really like with uh, Barbarian now. Barbarian just got a huge quality life for every single build with one of the brand new aspects, which we have equipped, and I'll show you guys gameplay, or I'll show you them. I'll mouse over the thing so you guys can see it, but Barbarian is just really, really godly. There's just one boss that uh, I think is like Permabug, which is the Blood Bishop, so hopefully that one doesn't spawn in. If it spawns in, it's a uh, GG reset. But, uh, like, it's pretty much we're just cruising along and if we don't kill it instantly it'll die to the bleed damage like i can just walk away those things will just die to the bleed so very easy and then uh, of course having iron skin is super super helpful it just feels like when you activate that thing you're, you're just not dying it's it's almost as good as like an immortality it's crazy but yeah look at that even that thing with the damage reduction i just did a one little quick swipe over it and it was gone and now we've got to go do the boss over here but you can see that berserking is up oh what we got to do really quick uh we barely made it right there so we got to reset the boss if you don't do this the boss gets bugged so this is how you do it or you just die that's like another option but like that's no fun you don't want to be dying in the in your build right but I'll, I'll talk about other things that you may try to consider with the newest update as there's a couple things that actually make the uh the barbarian quite strong and if you want to try out some other things hey you know i always like being a theory crafter and trying out newer ideas and stuff but specifically, having that 100% uptime on uh, Berserking really makes this build so much more beginner friendly. Even though, like, as of right now, I have all the rolls uh, to keep up my uh, war cries uh, for the most part. You guys can see super smooth gameplay. We're talking, like, again, two to three minute, very consistent clears. 
but let's go over the newer changes and the buffs. Now, I don't know the exact number on the breakpoint, but for starters, Whirlwind actually scales with attack speed now. So, I'm not sure if that also means you get more Whirlwinds to shoot out. At the end of the day, you can now roll attack speed on your gear, and it's not even a bad stat. So, that's going to be a plus right there. The other uh, plus that is good for every single build is the Crown of Lucian. This makes it so, well, you just do damage and well just spend resource and then you get more damage which is great now the ranks of core skills don't really help us out here because well even though it does give whirlwind more base damage and then technically with whirlwind we have um the uh base of it dealing bleed so technically we got a little small buff but it doesn't really matter here uh but that is something that uh, does get added into the equation here um, but you can also get whatever stat that you want um, if you do get max resource there's another uh, thing that you may want to try out uh, i haven't done the calculations but lockerin's talisman is a brand new amulet that almost every build will be using uh, as long as you're not a damage over time and what this allows you to do is you can actually gain extra resources but for any point above 100 you gain crit strike damage crit strike damage obviously very good that's an x not a plus it's just bugged um so welcome to ptr in diablo 4 it's just there's a lot of bugs here so um this item could be good but there's really not too many areas where you can swap in uh the dust devil's chain so if you want to um i believe if you uh let's go to the dust devil's chain oh does it not okay Oh, it's just Dust Devils, I think is what it's called. Uh, a devilish aspect after uh, Whirlwind. Okay, so Dust Devils aspect over here. So uh, that one, is that? I believe that's considered uh, offensive over here. So yeah. So if you maybe swap this in here, in terms of like, I'm already the pretty mid-max, so I don't really need this one that much. But it does definitely help out for people that don't happen to have good enough rolls. Because like, I already have... Uh, cooldown reduction, Warcry cooldown reduction, and then my other ring, I also have Warcry cooldown reduction, so I'm pretty much A-OK -okay in that department. But it does definitely make the build feel a little bit smoother, because you might be down for like 1-2 to two seconds, and then your ZDPS. So, it can help out, but this is a massive thing, it's called anger management, so it makes it so... Uh, while above a certain amount of resource, you, you are always going to be berserk. Now, this applies to every single build because it's really important for Barbarian to be berserking. It's kind of like just getting way more stats. Uh, berserk does it, does it have the, uh, doesn't have like the, uh, the more stats, but berserking is a pretty good thing to have in the game. It gives you a lot of uh, bonuses and a lot of stuff while berserking, you get a bonus. So that's a pretty nice buff over there. Now, um, as far as like other things that I think that are important to really mention, again, you could swap this one and you can get crazy amounts of crit. And I think that this could be worth it because um, it can actually give you some good stats. We'll have to test out to see what the breakpoints are for the attack speed. And if the attack speed spawn in more whirlwinds because you're whirlwinding faster, if that makes sense, because it's more attack speed, I guess. I'm not sure if it actually changes the animation, but that is another like buff. But as far as nerfs go, uh, yeah, this build is going to be dominating. And all you need really is to have two... Well, you can maybe get away with a pole arm on this one for bleeds. But uh, you ideally need Ring of Star of the Skies and this. This, though, I mean, it definitely helps out. But I would say you can play the Rage and you can get a lot of cooldown reduction, which gives you a lot more survivability. But you lose out on those little things that shoot out and it makes the open world content just a breeze. So overall, to answer the question, is Whirlwind Barb dead and unplayable? Again, the nerfs are literally this. And then with Whirlwind, uh, we did get some other things. Uh, they say it's they fixed an issue. I'm not actually sure what this exactly means. Does this mean more tornadoes? Does it mean the base thing hits more? I don't know. Uh, of course, every single grips. I think, as far as I'm aware of, this isn't like actually viable. As far as pulling in enemies, remember you do damage with the tornadoes, not actually the whirlwind itself. So it really doesn't matter too much if you're sucking them in. I tried it out. It wasn't really that insane. You can run this and another aspect to pull things in, but I just like running uh, wind striker just because we already have enough damage. You can do 100 pluses, super smooth. And remember, the PTR one is much harder. But anyways, uh, to kind of conclude everything, I already have this build uploaded. All you would need to do is swap Harlequin with Lucian and your build's done. It, the build is super smooth. You're going to be flying through content. And uh, the new content even will be very easy as well. But anyways, that's my thoughts on the new barb. You guys let me know yours down below. Uh, it's very good. But I'll also link the, the build if anyone wants it. But uh, what do you guys think of uh, the Barb with the, the Crown of Lucian? I think it's good. Well, every single build will be running this. But yeah, the Whirlwind Barb in Season 5 is not nerfed pretty much at all. In fact, it's probably just buffed. <laughs>